You're my shero. You're my shero. You're my shero. You're my shero. Okay, there we go. Boom! From Amazon Music, it's the walk-in, honey. Boom. Howdy, y'all, and giddy on up. My name is Mo Hart, and welcome to another brown cow stunning episode of The Walk In. We are on our way to meet icon and legend herself, Shania Twain. Shania Twain has been filling our radios with hits for three decades and giving us some of the most iconic looks of all time. She has sold over 100 million records, making her the best-selling female artist in country music and one of the best-selling music artists of all time. I feel like I might be wearing the wrong animal print, but I do think I have something else in mind. Let's go, girls. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Look at you. So good to see you. Same here. It is such an honor to meet you. This is what I need to tell you. I started drag, I think, 12 years ago and my career started by singing your music like every Friday, Saturday Aww. for this gig called Marioki. So like, if you're not uh, in it for love, yes! Woo. If you're not willing to give it all you got. Oh, we sound good! I think we're gonna release our album. Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited to go through your closet because like most of the world and myself, we want to go through. So can we go like check it out? Let's, Let's go check it out. <laughs> Love it. Shania. Look at this fabulous Ooh. closet. That was an awesome note, by the way. Shania. Woo. Loved it. I love you. Look, you are an icon, legend, and fashion has always been there. I love fashion for the play of enhancing parts of our bodies. Do we want to look taller? Do we want to have a broader shoulder? It's really all about, for me, shape, uh, texture. Yes. Anything goes as far as era, decade. I love color. You Clearly. I do love color. My dear, so we call this section of the show the Fashion Rewind, where we get to go deep, find out like what were the inspirations, where you were, and so we would love to know about this beautiful garment. This one is definitely not the colorful of the bunch because the cover of the Now album was black and white. Uh -huh. I wanted to carry on the black and white in the leopard print. Uh -huh. This is handmade and I wanted something that was see-through oh, that I could see. Yeah, so the whole idea was the lighting was designed around the body uh -huh. silhouette through the, the sheer. <laughs> and, and look at all that, it's just so... The body and it bellows. It. It bellows. Yes, it, it bellows does bellow. Go. So I like work. to work the fabric. Work the garment. Yeah. yeah. It, that's all in the way it's sewn and everything. Do we know who this was sewn by? My wardrobe department. You <laughs> are the legendary children listening. She has a wardrobe department. <laughs> I need one of those. It's a show wardrobe department. You gotta have that. I know. Yeah, anyway. A department. Um, yeah. Oh. So Mark Bauer, he's fabulous. He's very, very fabulous. And then this is a design that I sent him an inspiration that I wanted done in this color. Mm -hmm. And of course I needed this to bellow. If it doesn't have the drama. I wanted drama. a parachute. Right. You know what? Maybe I will repurpose this one. Although it's an iconic performance. Where did we wear this again? AMAs, American Music Awards. The Barbie pink is really giving me this, the, like the ooh ah. Then the shimmer. This is very key because of the lighting. Now, what shoe did you wear with? Platform junkie boot for stability. There oh. were a lot of stairs. I was moving around a lot. Listen, you know. children, stability, chunky heels. Stability, okay. yeah. You got to stay up. You said it a few times about repurposing a, a look, and I love that you do that because I feel like a lot of times, you know, in this entertainment world, you spend a lot for a one-time look, and you're like, it's just in storage. Yeah. So I love that you're like, no, baby, I'm gonna bring this out, redo it, and rework it. I yeah. love that. I do that often, I love it. Throughout your career, you have always been like, no, baby, like, I'm more than just a pretty face, and this is my talent, this is what I have to offer. Who are the women in your life that just helped you 
when you're in those spaces. Sticking with the music, Dolly Parton's always been one of my absolute favorites. She's very self-confident. She's always positive. She's always uh, exuding love and inspiration. I mean, Dolly being one of my main mentors because she definitely laughs and smiles about the eyes going straight to the boobs and the <laughs> yes. I mean, she wears them very proudly and gracefully, but she is somebody who deals with all of that with a great sense of humor, positivity, and just always kind. I just always love that you take up space and make space. Well, right they here. say if you're not standing on the edge, you're taking up too much space. That, boom! Right? Tell us about this one. All right, so this is also a Mark Bauer. We worked together, obviously, to get it show ready. I love that you said show ready. There's the difference from like having a garment, like, oh, it's fabulous for a photo, but when we need functionality, uh, yeah. you need right. to hit choreography, you're like, wait a minute. With designers, you know, it's like, oh, I drew the vision, I created the vision on the mannequin, but taking it off the mannequin and putting it on the actual model of person, you're like, let's lift, cut, shape, and I do agree. It's you really exactly do have that. to do all of that. Especially like even these little beautiful embellishments. Mm -hmm. I moved all of these around because they've got to fit in the right place on it my does. body. It does. It really, really does. Uh, the edge of this one is irregular on purpose. There is a recipe for the way a, a, a garment complements somebody. It's, 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 a, it's a very it's personal not, thing. Uh, so I, yeah, I get very, very, very involved with everything. Now this next one, not only is it leopard print, but you wore this one. What, Mr. Orville Pat? We made it for my music video uh, with Shania Twain for a song called Legends Never Die for the video. So I decided to go with the fringe. Looks like money. So that it was a little more of a Western uh -huh. feel. And then the fringe is always better. I cheated this one to the front. Instead of it being on the side, so that way it pushes forward a yeah, little more. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Because the fringe is down on the underside at the back, when I lift, it looks more like a wing. So we put it on that side so, so that way the kids can see you get the wing without seeing the, the seam and where it's coming from. Yeah. So now I'm gonna look at anybody who has fringe costumes <laughs> and go, your fringe is in the wrong position. <laughs> All right, my dear, now I will call you the leopard print queen. So let's see what leopard print things do you have. I think something fun. A leopard print sofa. I have leopard print cushions. Okay, we'll start there, start yeah. there. I have leopard print custom or designer shoes. Oh yes. I mean, I have leopard print things period, in so many colors. I've got leopard print mugs and underwear, yes. <laughs> I live, I live, I live, I live. In your car, do you possibly have the little leopard print thing? I don't. Oh. That's a good one. Okay, next Christmas gift. Oh, <laughs> oh I live, I live, I live, I live. My dear Robert Palmer, made a video and then you took that inspiration by being gender fluid in your video. Man, I feel like a woman. You really allow people to be their most authentic selves and I feel like that is very sheroic, is that a word? We're making it a word today. Sheroic and sheroism. I love that! Yes! You're my shero. You're my shero. You're my shero. You're my hero. Okay, there we go. Boom! That'll be the next song on the next album, okay? Get ready. I live, I love you so good. I feel like it was before its time. What made you want to step out and be a little different when we were just like in the shadows? I'm just pro-freedom. I mean, it just hurts me to have anyone excluded. Mm. So not in my world. Boom. Because it's sort of like once you write the statement, the rest of the song you can just comes together. It. It's all about no inhibitions. It's all about making your own choices, your own decisions, and enjoying that and celebrating that. It's a true song of freedom. It is. it is. Take your freedom and keep it. Boom! My dear, thank you so much for the fashion rewind, but now it's time to push on to fashion forward. And I want to talk about Beauty and the Beast, Mrs. Potts! It was actually the only piece that was not a costume piece. Everything else was teapot, elaborate, very Marie Antoinette. Yes. Uh, this was the promo look, the very elegant Mrs. Potts. When you got the phone call, you were like, what? I want to be Belle. No, that would have been me. <laughs> Just because of the dress. Me, that was Belle. it. I would, that's it. That's it. Okay, now this. This is a custom diesel. This was the second layer 
of the People's Choice Award performance. Okay. That was the top layer. This was a full pant. We had it all blinged out. And again, fringe. It's at the front of the seam. Mm. And the seams on this are very important because this is a tearaway. I was just looking. I was like, wait, yeah. there's a seam. Yeah, this is a tearaway because I was wearing a, a nude crystal bodysuit underneath. Okay. And don't you just love the full glove? Wait, you had a full glove yeah, costume that. change, fully glove moment. Yeah. Oh, you were bold. I'm telling you, the quick change for this took practice. Yes. Listen, then you wore this coat with it. So How did it, you not die? I didn't have problems getting out of the layers. Uh -huh. But as I was going up the stairs. In the new costume. This was the very first seconds. Oh, Lord. So I've got all these layers on. I'm moving as. I'm trying to look limber, but I caught the front edge of the coat because the pant was also in the way and I just fell. It took me three tries to get back up. I made it. I made it in time to sing. <laughs> the show must go on. I know. It doesn't matter. All right, my dear, this is our last gourmand. This is Coachella with a special someone. Mr. Harry Sasso, tell us about this moment. Don't you love it when you I just know. type sequin? You just want to rub it. You're just like, oh my God. It's got to come to life. It looks so weird. Just sit, hang in there. I also love that you are being introduced to a young generation. And can we just say this? I'm going to say it in a not shady way, but you are the blueprint for girls to go from country to pop and really like make that crossover moment. You did it and the girls are following. There's no other phrase but that girl. Walk in the room, I'm that girl. Yes, who? Shania. Uh huh, that one. Very that, very that. Okay, now he's such a big fan of yours, Mr. Harry Styles. I believe he says that his mother used to play your music all the time. It's such a full circle experience because, like you said, you know, he was somebody that was listening to me in his mother's car or in her house, whatever, from a very young age, a small child, grows up to then himself become his own superstar and is able to tell me about it now as an adult. And it's just this beautiful reunion and experience. He's all grown up and he's like, yeah. can I invite you, you know, to come up and sing with me? I'm like, oh, yes. I think I can do that. Tell us about this new tour, the new album. Tell us about all of those things. With this new album, Queen of Me, I wrote the whole album during COVID and Using my imagination, that's my great escape. I was literally writing myself into a better frame of mind. Wow. So I started writing songs that just made me want to dance, chirped me up, made me feel happy. So the whole album is very uplifting. Since the pandemic, people have just been a little down, a little cranky, a little yep. grouchy. You end the pandemic writing your way out. I think it's going to do the same thing and just really lift people up, which they want. I think people are just so tired of being cranky and grouchy. Anyway, let's play a game, my okay. dear. I love games. OK, here we go. Fill in the blank, Shania 2023. Any man of mine better what? Walk the line. Ooh. I'm just laying it out. Yeah. That's the way I wrote it. I, oh, I would still say it like that. Like if you don't get your act together, baby, you're done for. Sounds very final. <laughs> okay, up. Does Shania Twain set an alarm clock or is she an early riser? I get up when my body is ready. Uh-uh. Well, how are you gonna wake up? Because my body didn't wake up until two. Okay. I'm very prompt. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a very prompt person, but I make sure I've got enough time to rest. Okay, here you go. Giddy up, what's your favorite pick-me-up or way to treat yourself? Oh, music, music's the best. Music's my best pick-up, pick-me-up. Do you listen to your own music or do you have a go-to? I do listen to my own music, but when I'm writing music, I don't listen to other people's music. Same. I need to just get into my own creativity. If I'm not in the middle of creating an album, I love to listen to other people's music. I love to put on, I love Prince, I love the Bee Gees. Queen of me, what is something you are queen of that may surprise us? Well, I think I'm a pretty good pancake maker. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can make pancakes. I can make good pancakes. Yeah, I'm like the Saturday morning mom pancake maker. You know, you know my manager. I'll just invite ourselves over for a Saturday breakfast. Well, listen, if you have maple syrup like we have from our maple tree. That's not fair. You have to be good at making pancakes. I mean, I guess. The tree tapped maple syrup, yeah. Literally, you just go, boop, shh, I live. 
Shania, this has been so fun. Thank you so much for coming in. We've got to know who you are, the stories, the histories, your heart. Ooh, it just oozes out of you. I just love you so much. Can I just say I love your energy and your Thank enthusiasm. You. You're just a beautiful person. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, look, we love you all. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Walk-In. We have walked in. Now we're about to walk out. Now we should go finish the rest of that song, oh, yeah. Shiro. I am ready, man. Let's go hit the mic. You're my Shiro. You're my Shiro. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click right here to subscribe and click here to watch more episodes of The Walk-In. And here to listen to Queen of Me on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.